all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Matt Wood and I'm here to, to share tips, tricks, things that I've learned over the years fishing. And this week I wanna talk about a, a tip that I've learned or a trick rather that I've learned um, for moving baits, uh, top water, crankbait, rattle traps, things like that. But before we get into that, I wanna uh, talk to you a little bit about this logo on the wall behind me, says fish for it. That is a motto that I have developed. Uh, you know, you can watch all these videos on YouTube. It's a great learning uh, curve. You can get a leg up on the competition. You learn things that people, it takes years to learn these things. And we just share them in a matter of minutes on, on YouTube here. And I think that no matter how much you watch, you still have to fish for it. If you're gonna win a tournament or you're gonna have success on the water, you have to be willing to fish for it. I also love to hunt. Uh, just as much as I love to fish and so you've got to be willing to hunt for it too That's a little bit different because you have trophy hunters meat hunters and everything But either way you have to hunt for it put your time in to you know get the trophy that you're after so In these decals here. I have developed a website that you can now order them And there's gonna be two different sizes right now You're gonna have the eight and a half inch and then you're gonna have the 11 inch they're gonna be four different color combinations. You'll see when you go to the website, whatever decal you pick, there's a drop down box and uh, you can pick what color, what size. I will have the uh, website linked below. So please check that out if you're interested. And I will be choosing two subscribers to win a free decal. I'll, I'll send it to you on me. So if you're new here, please subscribe and you know, you'll be entered in for a chance. There's not, there's not many of you. so. You're gonna have a pretty good chance. I will pick two of y'all in a week or two, and I'll be reaching out to you to get your information to get you a decal on which one you want. So please subscribe and uh, just enjoy the rest of this video. All right, y'all, so as I mentioned a minute ago, I'm gonna talk about moving baits and a, a trick that I have to solve a common problem with these. You got your top waters, your rattle traps, crank baits, jerk baits is a really good one for this tip. Um, they all come standard with a, a metal split ring. That's what every bait comes with that connects your treble hook to a bait. And what you're gonna see, I have a, a Strike King Red Eye Shad here. What you're gonna see on all of these baits in common, you're gonna have, you know, typically one or a half a turn. If you twist the, if you hold the hook and twist the bait, you're gonna have one to half a turn and the, the hook's gonna have what I would say leverage. The fish, can use that in their advantage when they're jumping and it could it could potentially pop the bait out if the bait if they've got the back hook or they're hooked outside the mouth the leverage on the bait itself could have potentially pull the, the hook out of the mouth so a solution that i have for that is braided line this is a trick i learned a couple years ago uh, this is the same bait that i've got some braided line uh, up split rings put on and i use 65 pound test and if you watch, you can hold the hook, you can twist the bait, and you're gonna get three to, you know, three to four rotations before there's any of the same leverage that you're gonna get out of your typical out of the package bait. That's gonna save a lot of fish hookups and it, it eliminates the, um, the possibility of them throwing it, you know, based on the leverage. A really good bait to do this on is a topwater. This is a Strike King Sexy Dog. Um, they swipe at this bait so much you know, so much they barely get hooked, and this braided line really allows the the bait to swing around and maybe get another hook in them, or just put, it eliminates the the potential for them to get leverage. This is a big bait, and they can really get some leverage on this bait. A jerk bait is another one that's a really great bait to do this on. So uh, watch, and I'll show you how to tie this knot real quick. All right, so I like to use 65 pound braid. Uh, this is just the number four EWG hook, treble hook, and this is a Strike King Red Eye Shad to demonstrate on. And what you want to do is you want to take your line, you're going to need like a foot and a half to maybe two foot of line. And uh, the first time, first few times is going to be practice. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double your line over on itself here and come to a point. You're going to run it through the bait, and then you're going to run it through the hook. You're gonna pull this all out here, kind of just get it close to the end, and you're gonna hold it in your right hand, and then take your line and just kind of reach through itself and double it over here. And what you're gonna do is create a loop. You got a loop here now. After that, 
you're going to want to take the tag in and bring through that loop and then you're going to have a big loop once you pull this down tight you're going to have a bigger loop here so get you uh, an allen wrench or i use a screwdriver something that's uh you know pretty close to the same diameter or interior diameter of a the metal split ring you're trying to replace and you just put that in the big loop here and you're just going to pull this tight and i like to pull it real tight and then i take and you just tie two overhand knots and cinch both of them down really tight and before you pull this out i like to take and just kind of pry this away you know really cinch that knot down and then it'll just slide right out then you're going to take your scissors and cut the tag in and there you go a braided line split ring ready to go and that's going to be a very very strong knot and it's going to be very hard to break so simple as that takes a little bit of practice but you can do it all right y'all that's going to do it for this video thank you for watching i hope that trick will help you maybe you learned something new that will get a few more fish in the boat for you so don't forget the decals are will, or will be on the website below uh, check them out get you one and i will be choosing two subscribers to get a free decal so be sure and subscribe and remember you have to fish for it we'll see y'all next time